Yeah, Reese, once the election comes around, emotions tend to get high. Now we're two weeks removed from the election, and the only question left is, where are we now? According to a survey from Forbes Health by Talker Research, Gen Z was said to be the most anxious and stressed generation when it came to the 2024 presidential election. But what exactly has caused so much toil for Gen Z when it came to voting in this election? I mean, there's a lot of it like, at stake. Um, you know, climate change, women's rights, a lot of important things. For lack of a better term, it's like do or die. The frequency of tragic events unfolding like more and more and more as time goes on and now that we actually can vote and do something about it. While there was so much stress and anxiety among Gen Z voters, not all felt the same way. I try to not let it impact my feelings and my, my base um, emotions. Uh, so when I go out, I try to keep it as stress free, as anxiety as free as possible. So I just, I go into it with like, I've already made my decision and I'm just gonna, you know, pull my vote. So now that the election is over, where is Gen Z now and how have those emotions changed? I'm just trying to enjoy the last couple of months that we have and then, you know, if it hits the fan next year, then it does. Um, so yeah, I've, it feels surreal, so I haven't really, I don't think, processed it much since then. At first it was kind of like a panic, like, oh my god, but now it's kind of like, all right, we need to prepare. <laughs> and the hope is with changes, some of that stress and anxiety can be relieved in future elections. I think if we can work together to make media and the news um, programs more transparent uh, through their studies and their findings and like what they're breaking to uh, people, especially through social media, to help reduce that stress in the younger generation. Well, there you have it. While Gen Z was stressed about the election, the focus has now shifted to preparing for whatever comes in the future. Reporting for Gen Z Up to the Ballot, I'm Shane Scott Farrell. Back to you, Reese.